I'm not the type of person to come on social media and you know just put my business out there and um, you know just talk 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 and counteract everything that people say and re reply to people comments and all that stuff but this thing been lingering in the media for too long too long you know, my style is not helping, you know, as figure. I would just stay quiet, just stay out of this and it would go away. But at the end of the day, even if it, even if it go away, people will still have it in the back of their head and say, yo, Asafa is this person and Asafa is going to take care of his kids and all that stuff. <coughs> and who was supposed to come before, come forward and clear up this? They're not going to do it because this is the type of, of things they like, you know, they, these things so they're not gonna come forward and clear this situation clear my name because they, because I saw for going like him too perfect and I saw for going like him this and that so this is you understand so <coughs> the media have it to say that firstly the media have it to say that my daughter mother is my ex please stop saying that she's my ex she's not she's not my ex she's the mother of my child She's not my ex, we weren't a couple, we weren't together, we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. So please stop labeling the situation as ex. Yes, and I've done, I've done things in, in the past, you know, I was never innocent. You know, I was never innocent person, I, you know, I was, I've done things in the past. And I've, I got two beautiful children, two beautiful children from, you know, um, my past and I love them, love them to death. I take care of them fully. They're not suffering. I did not suffer. My daughter was born in 2012, and you. So why would it take eight years if I wasn't taking care of my, my, my daughter? If I was not there for my daughter, if I was not taking care of my daughter, why would it take eight years for anyone to say anything? When I heard, and I'm gonna say heard because I heard over the radio that my daughter, but that she was pregnant with my child over the radio. This was like four or five months down the line, and I'm not joking about this. I heard over the radio, and I had to make a call and find out that she was pregnant with my child. When I found out, right then and there. I just, I just went in, in support mode. So, I, I, first thing I did, I told her to find an apartment, right? And she found an apartment. I was going to Europe. I pay, I, I, I gave her money to pay for her apartment, pay for everything. Doctor P, I have my friend, asked my friend to drive her around with my car, drive her anywhere she want to go. Doctor, anywhere she want to go, because. I was excited. This was my first, my first child. I was excited, super excited. <coughs> right. Um. When my daughter was born, right. I bought a bought I bought her a car to drive, to drive my daughter around. That car mash up. I got another car. I asked my friend. First, I asked my friend to teach her to drive. I to teach her to drive, to drive for wherever and learn to drive. Bought her a car, pay all bills every month. Every month, I pay rent, pay light, water, I pay car insurance, buy gas put in a car, right? Everything. She want to go back to college, I pay for her to go back to college, right? I pay all bills, whatever she need give it to her. My daughter, and during this time, my daughter was always at my house. Always at my house. She would drop off my daughter here, she go to school, do whatever she's doing, and then pick up, pick up. And, you know, but so my daughter was always here. My daughter ready to go to school, 
I pay my daughter school fees. I buy my daughter school clothes. All my daughter had clothes them and me buy, me buy all, all them clothes. Me shop for my daughter. Right? She won't go to school, me buy her school clothes, me buy her school bag, me buy everything, me pay for her to go to school. <coughs> so this been going going on for years and during this time there, there, there was just a lot of verbal abuse like random messages to my phone you know calling me all sorts of names I ignore it you understand for years now court was supposed to come in play for years now my, my mom keep telling me don't go to court it doesn't look good don't go to court so I said alright fine I'll leave this court <coughs> Continue to support my daughter and my daughter and mother for years. Continue during all this time. Like I said, we were never together. She was not, not my girlfriend. I was just doing this for the love for my daughter and the appreciation I had for her for having my daughter. 2017 now, everything changed. <coughs> the verbal abuse just got a bit too much. not to for me not to see my daughter again that i act like a father and i'm not a father it's trying to change my daughter last name and telling me that i've never done anything for my child never ever done nothing for my child so i'm like what i've never done anything for my child that don't make sense now this makes sense where is this coming from anyway guys so I cut back. I cut back when that when she made that statement that I was never taking care of my child. I was never there for not doing anything for my child. I cut back. Cut back on everything. I'm not going to go into details. I was cut back on everything. <clears throat> so we came to an agreement. You know, she came up with the figure with the amount of money that she wanted. She wants twenty five thousand dollars, so I gave her twenty five thousand dollars. Half a school fee, boom, fine. So this been going on for 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 a while, and my daughter was practically living at my house during during, during all this time. My daughter was living at pretty pretty much living at my house. My daughter was at my parents' house pretty much all the time, right? And, uh, and during this time, I still buy clothes. My wife always buy clothes for my daughter. My daughter was never in need of no clothes. She, was never, she never had the need to buy no clothes for my daughter. My daughter always had clothes. My daughter buy clothes. Buy way too much clothes. Buy clothes way big so she can grow in them. Everything. So my daughter was never in need of nothing. <laughs> and I didn't come on here to, to, to look like no fool. But if I have to look like a fool to, bring, to put my point across, then I will do it. You understand? This has been going on for years. It reached to a point where I can I cannot communicate with her. I could not communicate with her. So she started communicating through my wife. So she would text my wife, hey I'm going to drop off my daughter now. Fine. Whatever she needs, she would text my wife. Because I could not have a conversation with her because it was too much disrespect that I could deal with. It would be between my wife and my mom. She would text my mom or that she's going to drop off my daughter. I text, text my wife. If you don't get my wife, she text my mom. So that's where the communication was. I was never communicating with her. And like I said, my daughter practically lived at my house from Monday to, to Friday. Monday to Friday. I have my daughter. I'm going to take her to school. I'm going to pick her up from school. And then Friday, her mom would pick her up. All of this poor thing came about. I'm gonna try and cut this right now. Let's cut it, cut it right here. Because I can't know what I to talk about this, this thing. And it kind of hurt me because even if my friends questioning the situation and they, they have been around and they know the situation and know everything. Where, where all of this start now, last year in the COVID time, COVID time, I gave her the child support.
The day I gave her the child support, she took my daughter to my parents. Right? My daughter was at my parents for two weeks. Two, three weeks. Then she went for my daughter. Take her back after two or three days. Take her back to my parents after two or three days. Right? So after she took her back to my parents, my daughter was there for practically two months. When she went back for my daughter, the next morning she took my daughter to my house because online schooling um, started. So my daughter was at my house doing school from Monday to Friday. Every week. Monday to Friday. Then she asked me about child support. So I said, why do you need child support? My daughter was at my parents all the time. My daughter was at my house and my parents' house. Why do you need child support? You understand? My, my, the, 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 my daughter was at my parents with at the house that I provided for my parents and money that I provided for my parents. You understand? My parents was taking care of my daughter. Why do you need the child support? And that's when everything starts. I want to go to court, I want to decide that I want to Right? So, when people say I don't take care of my daughter and I see all of these things going on in media, it kind of fuck me deep. And I'm, I'm just a, always a quiet person. I just, I saw I'm not going to talk. So, let me just say anything about him or let me do whatever. He's not going to say nothing. He's not going to talk, he's not going to do anything. But, if you guys believe I'm not I'm a deadbeat that then continue to believe that. Whoever, all of my all the liar people who would know facts and you know the truth, you know, that's up to you. But I just wanted to put shed some light on this situation because because that's been going on for too long. And I just can't I was my son was going to live with me and my mom said no you cannot manage him because you're going to be training you're going to be traveling all over the place so let us take care of him for you just let us take care of him for you so that's how my son lives with my parents so people people eat it for, for many reasons um people just dislike it for many reasons it is a strong word, so let me say dislike. People dislike it for many reasons. Maybe it's the way you talk. Maybe it's your success. Maybe um, your, how you look. Maybe your nose too big. You know, for many reasons. People people just dislike it for many reasons. You understand? Um, for me, I don't know what it is. You know, but people... <coughs> people dislike it because you're going through perfect. Just stop it right here and you know hope this open up a lot of people's eyes 